Oh, I can kind of hear it releasing. There you go, my friend. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna make a how to unplug your toilet video. All right, let's get up and go in here. So this one is clean. It just has too much toilet paper. Yours at home right now probably is not this clean. I apologize, that's a bummer. But uh, anyway, you can see my water height. This is a pretty good height to have it at, meaning that it's not gonna overflow super easily. Let's grab our plunger. By the way, that's the plunger there. See how it has this little extra piece on the end? We want that. And if yours does not have that, consider reaching inside the plunger and it might have it, it's just kind of folded in. Let me show you. So this piece can fold in and then this plunger would work well for like a sink, but we don't want a sink, we need it for the toilet. So let's pull that flange back out. There we go. By the way, I'll put a link to this plunger. It's a really nice one in the description down below. So here's a couple tricks to the plunger. Number one, this is full of air. We need to get water into it. If your water is really high, consider going to the side, kind of tilting, slowly filling it up. And now it's probably half water, half air. So let's do just a slow pump like this, just to get any excess air out. See those little bit of bubbles. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep it underwater here. What we're gonna do is try to cover up that hole at the bottom as best we can. So kind of like this, not straight up and down, by the way, we're kind of angled back just a little bit. And what we're gonna do is about five sort of medium pushes on this plunger. And after we're feeling a little bit more confident that we're not gonna make a big mess, we'll do about five more that I'm pushing a little bit faster. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's do a couple fast, okay? Now this could go right away. This could take a few tries. Let's see how we did. Nope, still plugged up. If you leave the plunger underwater, then you don't have to do that slow maneuver to get the air out. So my air is still out. Let's give it another try of like 10. And I'm pushing pretty hard here. We're trying to just loosen things up and sort of let that clog work itself down. We're not trying to pull anything up, by the way. Um, other than a little water to get it to move, but we want our clog to go down, not to go up necessarily, but a little bit of movement to help the water push it down. All right, let's go for 10 more. Again, this could take a few tries. Ooh, I can kind of hear it releasing. There you go, my friends. That's a pretty realistic one. Again, you might have to do, uh, I do them in sets of like 10 sort of pushes and then I kind of give it a second. You might have to do that once, you might have to do a series of those multiple, multiple times. Hey, we're not done yet. Check it out, flush the toilet. Clean off your plunger, clean off your plunger. Put it back where it goes. When I'm making these videos, I'm often thinking of my own teenager, so I wanna walk them through the whole process. If you made a little mess on the ground, grab a little toilet paper. If you made a little mess around the bowl, clean it up a little bit. Hey friends, I hope today's video helped you out. If it did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.